This week's Venice Film Festival has been a vibrant celebration of some of this year's biggest films. Among the favourites is a film headlined by a rising Hollywood star and loyal Wellingtonian, Thomas and Mackenzie. Here's Kate Roger. If you thought no KFC was the worst lockdown could get, why don't you imagine this? You're sitting in your Wellington bubble, far, far away, as the red carpet world premiere in Venice of a film you headline wows the crowds. But here's perhaps some small comfort for sought-after Kiwi actor Thomas and Mackenzie. Your co-stars, they really missed you. It was a real shame that she wasn't here last yeah, night, actually. Watching the movie, you go, God, she's so present and brilliant in it. Mm -hmm. Well, shout out to Tomo we in love New Zealand. Tomo. This film is Last Night in Soho. Mackenzie is front and centre. It's an Edgar Wright film that New Zealand audiences can savour next month. Her director's dance card has been populated with everyone from Taika to Jane Campion to Sixth Sense filmmaker M. Night Shyamalan in his latest horror film, Old. She auditioned for me from New Zealand and I was like, who is this? Who, who is this actress? And then I learned all about it and I was like, get her, I'm locked in, done, that's it. Done indeed. Old would be the first film the then teenager would do without her parents. Going off on my own during a pandemic to the other side of the world, to the Dominican Republic, in a very, and being very isolated in a bubble was quite scary for mum and dad. Here Mackenzie was talking to us from London before jumping on a plane to head home to promote another film, a New Zealand one, The Justice of Bunny King. What are you wearing? This is my new look. Professional, corporate, entrepreneur, but sexy. Written, shot, edited, directed by women, Bunny King was an absolute treat for Mackenzie. Even after Me Too and after like the, the, the progress that has been made, it's a mm. very rare feeling to be on set completely surrounded by leading female creatives. And it's that same rare feeling that you get when you watch Mackenzie herself luminously owning her first big screen lead role and knowing this gifted 21-year-old is just getting started. Kate Roger, News Hub.